Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today is gonna to be a very special occasion. I'm gonna be continuing on with my Chinese food tour here in LA, and I am here in Temple City at the Amelia Square, which is one of the new shopping centers in this part of town. And today I'm gonna to be eating something that's really cool. Do you know what I'm gonna be trying? I'm gonna be trying some Chinese imperial food. So this is the food that they would serve back then to like the kings, the emperors of China, like imperial court cuisine. Isn't that so interesting? Where do you find anything like that? Well, there is one restaurant in LA here in Temple City that specializes in that cuisine. This restaurant is called Bistro Nas, which is a Michelin star restaurant. And there's not really too many Michelin star Chinese restaurants like in LA. So this is definitely going to be an experience. So if you guys want to see what Chinese imperial court food looks like, replicated to the best of its ability, then you need to stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing feast that I'm about to have right now. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly that you just don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I am getting near the restaurant, so I'm going to go in and I am going to be treated like royalty right now with this food. One of the things that you're going to notice is that when you come into this restaurant, how gorgeous it looks like. You really feel like you're transported back to the Qing Dynasty. It is quite a sight. So I'm going to give you a little tour of this exquisite restaurant and show you some of the layout and some of the things they got going on here. So here is one of the dining rooms. As you can see, there's this table that's at the center, which is for a large party. It is so ideal for a large party where you can have all the food at the center of the table. And what you'll also notice that at the end of the room, there's a section where you can kind of sit and chill and have some maybe tea or something like that. But this is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh my. And then behind me here is the much larger dining area where most of the customers sit. And once again, beautiful ambiance. So there's so much space in here. Love all the decorations you'll see all around. Nice wood carvings. They even have the musical instruments that's kind of hanging on the walls all the way at the top. This is truly one of a kind experience. I'll tell you that, never seen anything like it. So I'm back here in the kitchen of this marvelous restaurant and there's so much going on right here. So I'm next to the head chef right here, uh, Chef Tan, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. So he's gonna show us some of the activities going on in here. This is the crispy shrimp, one of the most popular items here at this restaurant, which the chef is gonna make. Oh man, there it goes. Yep, all the shrimp is being deep fried right now. And I believe that is the sauce that would that the shrimp would be mixed into. So now he's just kind of preparing the sauce and garlic mixture on this wok. Looks incredible. Wow, he's stirring it all around so that it will get nice and thick. Oh yeah. Okay, and then when the shrimp is done, it would go right in there. Yes, and then you kind of toss it around a little bit. And I believe it's supposed to kind of have like a sweet flavor to it. And then it goes on top of that, on top of this beautiful kind of uh, stand, and it holds this plate of shrimp up. So nice, isn't it? And then, looks like we have a piece of vegetable pie right here. Okay, yeah, so this is the section where they would make like, uh, their pastries and desserts and dumplings, all that good stuff. And let me show you what they got going on here. So when you come to this section, this is where they would make all their appetizers. Like for example, is they're making some of this cold sliced chicken with chili sauce right now, which is one of the highlights here at this restaurant. There's more because when you go down here, you're gonna notice that you have the live seafood section. Oh yeah. Everything from your lobsters all the way to this huge king crab. Oh my, look at how big that thing is right there. Yeah, you can. this is definitely a market price item. 
Yikes, no way this is gonna cost you only like 10 or $20. Let me tell you guys, I am so excited because when you look at the menu, there's a lot of stuff you can order on the menu and I couldn't figure out what to order. So I just decided to get what was their most popular stuff on the menu and there's quite a lot of popular things, but I'll tell you what's like the most popular of the popular that you should get. A really good variety from appetizers all the way to the desserts. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got here for today. This is quite an exquisite soup. The most popular soup at Bistro, Nas. Look how rich it is. All this is like a chicken broth. Look how thick it is. And it has like mushrooms, scallops, abalone, as well as this fish stomach inside of it. That's really good for you and it's very expensive as well. And this right here is what's called the Bistro Nas Secret Tofu. Yes, they have some sort of a recipe for this. I've never seen tofu that looks like this. It looks like fried tofu in some ways, I believe it's very soft and the green layer on top is spinach of some sort with the dipping sauce. Here's one of their big dishes here. This is like a black cod with chili sauce. Yes, one of their main entrees and I believe this is the most popular fish that's on the menu. This is truly royalty right here. This is one of their newer items. This is shredded pork with sweet bean sauce. So you're supposed to take the pork along with the vegetables and then you use the wrap that's inside of it and you make yourself kind of like a mushu pork in some ways, like a little burrito. This is the Bistro Nas specialty, their most popular item on the menu, the crispy shrimp. It's exactly how it sounds, fresh shrimp that's deep fried, I believe. And here's another one of their specialties. This is the Bistro Nas Angus Prime Rib. This is so epic, you see that? Wow, they cut it all up. It's very easy to eat. So you can simply pick it up, dip it into these sauces, and it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try me a sample of this really exquisite royal dish. This is like royalty food that's for the emperors, empresses of China back in the old days, and of course, Rockstar Eater is royalty as well. I'm definitely going to enjoy this meal. Mm -hmm. Mushroom is delicious. And by the way, there are quail eggs in here as well. Isn't that pretty cool? I'm discovering all these new things inside. And trying some of this. Nas secret tofu, secret recipe tofu. Mm. Wow, I like it. It's crispy on the top and inside. It's not really like a tofu. It's more like a egg, like an egg custard of some sort and it's crunchy on top. The sauce adds some nice flavor to it. Oh, killer, killer choice right here. Ooh, I wanna try this one. Their house specialty shrimp, it looks so good. This is like the type of stuff that I would immediately order on the menu because I love shrimp and I love fried stuff as well. Whoa. That one is killer. That one is so good. The shrimp just dissolves in your mouth. It's crispy, but it like melts in your mouth. There's a lot of meat on the shrimp. It's really good quality as well. It tastes so good. And like I said, this is their most popular item at this restaurant. So if everybody's ordering it, then you definitely need to order it. If you've never been here before, start off with this one. I think everyone will like this one for sure. So the process now begins with this wrap that you take a piece of it and then, let's see, you put some of the veggies on it, obviously. You want to balance your meat with the vegetables. Yes. And then, of course, some of the pork right on top. Wow, it's awesome. You know what it's like? It's almost like eating pecking duck, but with pork in it instead. That's exactly what it tastes like. Shredded pork. But it's really nice though. This one is not, I wouldn't say it's a conventional choice in Chinese cuisine in mainland China, but you know, the presentation is still pretty much captures the spirit of it. If you guys like short ribs, you're gonna like this one because like I said, it's a very extensive cooking process. I think they boil it, bake it, and then of course, you know, it comes with these two sauces on the side as well. It's very soft, very tender, 
very moist. All right, guys, so the last one I'm moving on to is the fish. I'm gonna get me a nice piece of this one. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really good. The fish, this is a black cod, so it's very soft, it's moist. It really just melts in your mouth. So awesome. And the thing is the chili oil is not terribly spicy. It's totally manageable. It's not gonna burn your mouth. This is the perfect dish to get. If you like fish that's soft, it's big, and it has just a little bit of a spice kick to it. This is the perfect one right here. So before I move on to my dessert, I just wanna let you know that they have some really magnificent tea here. And I believe that this tea is made out of pear. It's like some sort of a pear tea that's pretty hot. Mm. It's kind of thick too, which tastes really nice actually. I like it. A nice thick pear tea. So just letting you know, take advantage of their tea selections. And tea is always so good because especially if you have your desserts, you're going to want some tea along with it. And let me tell you, guys, this is so big. This is so epic. Look at that. Isn't that so amazing? This is their Bistro Nas platter, their dessert platter oh man yeah so they call it the eight platter because there are eight different kinds of desserts on here and they're it's it's like one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen i'm so happy to be able to eat this right now where should i begin there's like so much food on here which dessert should i begin with oh, okay well let's see maybe i'll start with the one that's in front of me this one that kind of looks like a custard and see what that tastes like or you know what, maybe I'll just take a little bit of everything. I'll take this one, and I'll take that one, and take that one. This one is pretty interesting because I heard from the chef that this selection is the queen's favorite, the empress's favorite dessert. So another royal imperial court food right here that uh, they've replicated, I think, hopefully to a very close degree so that I can experience it to see what the queen tasted back then. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good because it's sticky, it's like mochi, and I think there's some sort of red bean inside of it as well. But overall, it's really good, especially if you like mochi, very sticky, very chewy has a bean flavor inside, and that's that's your selection right there. Yeah, so what are some of the things that I liked here? Uh, definitely the Qing Dynasty soup, that is so unique. You should definitely order that just for the experience of getting that bowl along with all the unique ingredients in there. The fish is really good as well, that crispy shrimp, of course you can't go wrong with that because that's the house specialty here at Bistro Nas. But um, yeah, there's so many things on the menu you can get. And if you come here to this restaurant, you are in Temple City, you wanna dine here at B Bistro Nas and you don't know what else really to get, just get what I got and I'm pretty sure you'll be pleased with it because what I got are some of the most popular uh, items that are on the menu. So anyways, I hope that helps you to find some very unique Chinese dining spots here in LA. And thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, Give me a thumbs up because that helps with this video. Also comment on the section below. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, what did you think about the food that I showed you in this episode? And also, please subscribe, like I said, because that's the best way to get these food videos on a weekly basis. So I hope you have a rockin' day today, folks, and that you'll enjoy some of this rockin' Chinese food here in Temple City sometime soon. And also be sure to check out the other videos on my screen so that you can see some of the other food adventures I've done all around LA. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.